Hey guys, I got another uh, build example here of another micro drone, and this is based on the um, 85 millimeter frame that I got from Gearbest. I did a frame review a while back. It's a, a one and a half millimeter bottom plate. You got a, a 45 degree rotated center section here for your electronics, and I'm using the uh, Eusheen uh, Mini Cube, the 10 amp uh, Beale Heli SESC 20D Shot 600 plus the um, Omnibus F3 uh, 20 by 20 flight controller, that, that combo that I featured in the Easy Bake uh, Micro Drones video. And uh, so I, I put that in here. I soldered on some, uh, these are the these are Airblade um, 1104 10,000 kV motors. These are some DYS branded motors, and then I'm using these uh, 1935 King Kong props. They, uh, you can actually use two inch props on this frame, but the 1935s give a little bit more clearance. And uh, I'm just using the same, um, also the same micro camera. This is uh, an all-in-one camera VTX. I did swap out the uh, antenna. And this one plugs into the uh, side here of the flight controller for video in and video out for the OSD. So it's a pretty easy build. It's kind of similar to the other build I had uh, with the Airblade Bolt. Again, these uh, all-in-one electronic stacks do make these builds pretty easy. Just got to uh, screw on your electronic stack here on the bottom and uh, solder on your motor wires. I have a receiver here. This is the Flysky FS82. So you'll need a small micro receiver here to fit inside on top of the flight controller and between the flight controller and the top plate. And uh, this is just using a simple little little antenna and that's pretty much it just running a JST connector here in this one um, something to note is that these uh, 10,000 kV motors they really suck down the battery power I was uh, flying around with these uh, nano, the, the Nanotech 300 uh, milliamp hour batteries that I like to use and I was only getting about two minutes of flight time with these with these uh, motors I was if I was flying with the uh, DYS 1104-7000 kV motors on the chopstick quad and I was getting closer to three minutes with the same battery and uh, so I think that when you even when you go to a lower prop the higher kV motor still draws a lot of battery power so something to keep in mind and so I will probably have to use a bigger battery and I'll obviously increase the weight to get a better flight time okay let's go ahead and weigh this here and it comes in at about 56 grams uh, without the battery and throw on the uh, 300 milliamp hour battery that I was flying with it comes in at 73 grams so I, I had no issues with power at this weight obviously if I go to say like a 500 milliamp hour 2S battery which is probably going to be a better battery obviously the weight's going to be more and I think that if you go to a higher kV motor anything higher than like 7000 kV 1104, 1105 or 1106 probably going to have to upgrade the connector now uh, the battery was warm, but the wire wasn't warm, so I don't think the current draw was enough to warrant switching the connector. Um, I think I just need to get a, a bigger battery so that I can pump out more power. Other than that, uh, you know, not much to explain in this uh, particular build. Uh, pretty easy to build, and uh, one other thing I, sh I forgot to mention is that this frame, uh, this 85 millimeter frame, uh, uses uh, M2 holes for your electronic stack and uh, the e sheen ones here are, are using the M2 screws so that worked out perfectly. There's also the, the Furby ones from Gearbest, those also use the M2 screws. Um, I think um, most of these all-in-one stacks are starting to go to those M2 screws anyway. If you go to a separate stack where you have like a separate ESC 4-in-1 and a separate flight controller, some of those are going to be M3 holes. And in that case, you'll have to uh, drill out these holes here to M3 size to fit those flight controller sizes. But other than that, this, uh, this particular one fits this frame perfectly fine with no issues. Okay, so I've got to roll some flight footage of this particular micro. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.